guys, hey, welcome back to the new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna say with you this beautiful GDS San Andreas DirectX realistic mode for your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So basically, this mode is designed for medium to high-end PCs. And if you have any PC that meets this type of following system requirements, then you can easily play this graphics mode into the 25 to 30 FPS or even 60 FPS. Well, talking about the minimum system requirements, you need at least 4 GB RAM and a dual core, a quad core processor. In graphics card, you need 2 GB graphics card, GTX 1050 Ti or 1050, you know. So talking about our recommended specs, you need at least 8 GB of RAM, GTX 1050 Ti or 1650 or even 1650 Super. You know, this all the specification of this mod, if you have this type of system requirements, then you can easily play this graphics mod into the 60 to 70 FPS. Well, this all the system requirements of this mod, wanted to know the features of this mod. So this mod offers you basically our perfect bloom, realistic time cycle, realistic water, realistic shadows. Also, it offers you the complex shadow. You can also enable shadows and complex shadow at the same time. So that's all the features of this mod. We should move to an installation video. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video guys. But wait, before getting started, please make sure to leave a like on this video, share this video to as much you can and if you are new then what are you doing? Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started with the video guys. So my friend, as you can see, we are in our desktop screen and first thing you need to download all these files from the given link in the description. Once you download it, please make sure to extract your optional file into your desktop or any specific folder you want to extract. Now once your file get extracted, open your game directory and then open your extracted file my friend. Now once you did all this step, please make sure to open your Sleeve ASI Loader Plus Mod Loader folder and then copy only these files into your game directory. Now if you copy any other files from here, then your game will crash after 10 to 15 minutes. Now go back and search for your graphics fix. And then from here, just copy only these three files except your two warbies file. Just drag and drop or navigate all this file into your game directory and hit on replace if it asks. Now from here what you need to do is open your RZL trainer folder. From here what you need to do is open your sleeve folder from your game directory and then just smoothly drag and drop these RZL files into your game directory. Now it's time to install JDF5 boot. Now it's an optional mode. Now it's an optional mode. If you wish then you can install it. All you need to do is just drag and drop. So it's pretty simple. Installation is pretty simple. Just drag and drop. So we have successfully done, so now what you need to do is search for your enb.exe and it's very compulsory to use this graphics mod into a low end PC, you know. Now from here what you need to do is extract your main files. Now once your main mod has been extracted, open your game directory and then just drag and drop these files into your game directory and hit on replace if it has. Install is it's pretty easy, please make sure to watch this video till end. Now run enb.exe and your game will 100% Start not believing, let me show you how it will. So my friend as you can see we are in our game and our game looks too awesome isn't it? Now press shift to plus enter from your keyboard and you can actually customize every effect. Now you can actually customize your every effect in real time. Now from here I don't want some effects so I'll disable it simply you know. So you can all the way do it. Now this mode also offers you the depth of field effects. So if you wish then you can all the way do it you know. So. That's all for today guys, thank you so much for watching till and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to hit that like button, share this video to as much you can and if you are new then what are you doing? Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It To make one video it took a lot of time and a lot of effort. So if you appreciate it then please make sure to leave a like on this video. So yeah, I'll see you into the my next one. Till then, goodbye my friend.